Well, good morning, vinyl community. How are y'all doing today? Your Vicar of Vinyl back with you. Doing pretty good myself. Another contest video. Here we are. I am doing this video in response to Rachel the Music Ma'am and Lisa Tedesco VC. Their contest entry, their contest video for Reservoir Dogs, which is a fun little idea so i thought i'd jump in on it um the contest is to show a record that relates to reservoir dogs somehow some way it's up to you how you connect it could be the colors which i'm going with it could be you know a scene in reservoir dogs that somehow you connect it to a record anyway um connecting Records to Reservoir Dogs and something about a record to do with laughing. I guess that has something to do with, you know, everyone needs a good, happy laugh these days with the pandemic and all. Anyway, I thought I'd jump in on this and um, get right to it. So first out of the gate, connecting a record to Reservoir Dogs. Remember these guys? Kissing the Pink. That synth band, that synth pop band, uh, new wave band from the 80s. I don't know what's going on with the name Kissing the Pink, but uh, that's the name they went with. This is their second record, What Noise? And obviously this is in reference to Mr. Pink and Reservoir Dogs. What Noise? This is the second record in 1984. I probably haven't listened to this record since 1984, I don't think. <laughs> um, but it's still in the collection there. Kissing the Pink. For Mr. Pink. All right, that's number one. I thought I'd do two records per. I know it was one. I might get disqualified, but you know, so be it. This is this is what I'm going with. Hopefully, it's okay. And then I mentioned this the other day to Rachel on her live feed. XTC's Oranges and Lemons, fantastic record. I picked this up not too long ago. It's an original. Um, copy and uh, Oranges and Lemons for Mr. Orange, and that was Tim Roth's character, I believe. I don't know, boys in the band. I haven't actually gotten around. I'm not down to the X's in terms of cleaning and uh, replacing inner sleeves yet, but I'm almost there. But yeah, fantastic record. Um, Oranges and Lemons by XTC for Mr. Orange. All right, there's the two for the characters in Reservoir Dogs. Now moving on to the laughter portion of the contest. And I thought, I was thinking about this, and I was, at first I was kind of thinking about, okay, can I find album covers with uh, people laughing or um, something like inner sleeves with that kind of thing? And I was going to go down that road, and I thought, what about songs with actual laughter in them? Um, and the first one, I have two, the first one that came to mind was Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. And the fourth track on side two, Brain Damage, you know, the lunatics, the lunatic is in my head. And about two thirds of the way through the uh, the song, the lunatic starts laughing. Actually, I don't know if that's the right side. No, that's, uh, oh yeah, it is side. There it is, Brain Damage, right there. And the lunatic starts giggling and laughing. Now, it's not happy laughter, it's a bit... You know, it's a little nutty, but um, still, it's laughter in Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Fabulous. And then the last one I had thought about. Now, this is a comp. Um, a David Bowie compilation that was released in 1981 called Another Face. And this is a collection of songs that was all singles from, you know, the mid-60s prior to um, his first release. On his first release, I believe, Rubber Band from this is on there. But anyway, um, interesting comp on the London label here in Canada. But first track side to The Laughing Gnome. So there's your laughing reference. And even in, even in the song itself, ha, 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 he, he, he. I'm the laughing gnome, and you can't catch me. And near the end of the song, David Bowie starts laughing um, through it, the chorus. And I was kind of 
wondering in the outro. And I'm wondering, and when I listen to it again, because I actually listened to it this morning, it sounds real. It doesn't sound fake. It almost sounds like he started laughing in studio and uh, threw out, you know, while he was trying to get through the outro of the song. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty funny little song. But a lot of these tracks were never released on... Um, on uh, studio records. So this is a collection of singles from 1966, I think. Yeah. Anyway, that's my, uh, yeah, Laughing Gnome, David Bowie. That's my contest entry for Rachel, the music man, and Lisa Tedesco. Hope you all enjoyed that little short video there, but uh, had fun doing it. Vicar Vinyl out.